Well, she's a well-known actor, book critic, author, and award-winning playwright as well. Now she is sharing some of our greatest writers and poets' love of our native birds with a new book called Bird Words. To tell us more about this stunning book, please welcome to the cafe, Elizabeth Easter. Yes. Welcome. So good to have you here, Elizabeth. Thank it you. is great to have you here. We couldn't even get through half the things that you do because you've got so much going on. You're a very busy lady. Tell us a little bit about Bird Words. How did you come to put it together? Well, Bird Words was born out of the... I was sitting at home writing one day. I was writing a story about the hihi or the stitch bird. And um, in this one day, so my friend from Tiritirimatangi, the island sanctuary, sent me a bird poem. And then Sam Hunt called up, because I was his manager at the time, and he always does a poem down the line, and he did one about a shag, <laughs> or shagging or something, Good anyway. Yeah, I can imagine. And then, yeah. um, then my friend Rowena from Wellington popped by, and she said, birds, and then for some reason launched into an albatross poem. And I went, ooh, there needs to be a book. And so I wrote to the um, CEO, you know, the head honcho of random penguin house, which oh, I like there. to call them, that's not their official name, <laughs> and, um, and said, how about, and I just put bird words in the email title, and I said, you know, what about a book? She wrote back like 15 minutes later and said, it's not a bad idea, I'm not saying yes, but we'll look at the money and the numbers and the things, and, and then slowly it, it took shape. It's and, very exciting. And it's beautiful too. So how would you describe it? Is it a book of poems or is it a book about our birds? Well, originally it was going to be in my head about um, Things often in my head don't work out in, in real life. <laughs> um, it was going to be about native birds, um, Ngā Manu, and it was going to be all poems. And then it evolved into non-fiction, fiction, and pictures and everything, and, and budgies and chickens. And There's a lot of very good chicken literature. There is, and wow. good chicken movies too. There's a lot of stuff oh, about chickens. Yeah. So how did you wrangle all the writers to get on board? Yeah, because it's an impressive list. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. I look at that sometimes and I think, how did I do this? Yeah. But the thing I did, it not by myself. So I went um, and sort of told people I was looking, and I went and spoke to writers who said, oh, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? And I went to the library. I spent a long time in the library in the poetry section. And when I left each day, I'd put a little bookmark in the shelves from where I was, just kind of flicking through, looking for the <laughs> pukeko, chicken, hen, you know, tui, anything, just looking and flicking, you know. And slowly, slowly, this collection emerged. And then I sent to the woman, the fiction editor, Harriet, who's amazing, I sent her these memory sticks. And I had a big clump of documents of ones I loved, once I was like, meh, and once I was like, mm. but you know, but you, you might like, you know, maybe I've got terrible taste. So I let her see them all, and then we made this sort of long list that shortened, and then. Well, well, the good thing is with New Zealand is that I think, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you hear birds, it really does personify what New Zealand is all about. So it's great to have them in a book, which mm. I absolutely love. Do you have a favourite bird? Yes, I do, although yeah. I feel like you shouldn't, but I do love the kotari, the kingfisher, because they're just, when you see them flying and they've got these sort of yeah. pink boxes under their armpits. They are beautiful. The kiradu would be mine, or mm. the piwakawaka, the oh, fantail. the piwakawaka. I do. Cool. See, that's the thing, I love them all, and then I think, oh, the tui. Oh, that, yeah, they, oh, yeah. Pretty mm. good too, aren't they? That's a good thing in Auckland, you know, in central Auckland. You get, you get that great, you know, tui in the back pork. hall. Uh, more pork in as my well. Virtual, more in my pork. Ear, you know, my oral garden. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> so you mentioned before that you were uh, managing Sam Hunt. Are you still managing him? Yeah, he's very hard to manage. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you do that? He's lovely. He, um, I was sort of like his, like a reliever teacher. I came in for a year and a half and just sort of helped him out while he was in between proper managers because I am not a proper manager. Have um, you got him in the book? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In fact, he sent me an email today because all the writers got these um, in the last couple of days and he sent a lovely little email going, oh, it's very pretty. And I think, it is. It feels like really old-fashioned when you touch it like it's hardback and if you actually take the cover off, the dust jacket, as they call them, in the business. Wow. It's got a beautiful, oh, gorgeous nice. cover underneath it as well. I know. It's the most beautiful colour, like everything, like the little orange ribbon. Yes, there's even a ribbon bookmark. Look at that. You don't get that in every book these days. And then one dear friend, Diane, she suggested the collective nouns of birds, you know, all those ones, like a parliament of owls. So I thought that could be one of the pieces. And then the clever people at... Um, and in Penguin House, said, what about the end papers? I didn't know what end papers were, but if right. you flick to the inside, the outside, they're those oh, things. Oh, that's an end paper. And there the end go. papers have the collective nouns of birds on them. Well, and is it hard, you know, because you're, you're an author yourself, so, you know, is it hard to be an editor or an author, you know, in, your, in both camps? It's no, no, I think it's sort of, it's, it's, um, it's kind of lovely as a person who knows how exciting it is when somebody says, I'd like to publish your little thing, to um, be that person to all of these writers and go, oh, I do love your poem story essay. Would you like it to be included? And everybody said yes. Nobody said no. 
Well, it's absolutely beautiful, yeah. and thank you so much for stopping by to have a chat about Bird Words. Bird Words, New Zealand Writers on Birds, is out now, and it's available everywhere good books are sold.